right so this is an identity so we have to specify which side we are starting on so we'll clearly start on the left hand side the more complicated side sure okay now there's different ways you could start this um what we typically want to do is change tan to sin over cos so that's going to become sin squared over cos squared minus sin squared x okay and that's i should be using theta sorry about that it's meant to be theta but i'm just going to use x now cos squared plus sin squared over there is just equal to one so that whole part just becomes one over sin squared x then at the bottom we'll just have sin squared x over cos squared x now in this bracket oh and guys you can't cancel like that remember um, there's not it's yeah there's there's a minus over here it's not just one term so what we can do now is realize that inside here there's a fraction so we would need a common denominator because this is technically over 1 and so that's going to become sin squared x over cos squared x minus sin squared x times cos squared x over cos squared x okay so that's that part and then this times by 1 over sin squared x is still there. And then at the bottom we have sin squared x over cos squared x. Now at the top here, everything's over cos squared x. And that's going to become sin squared x minus sin squared x times cos squared x. You can't cancel these because it's not one term over one term. So that's that. And then this part is still just 1 over sin squared x. And then there's nothing we can really do at the bottom. Okay, at the top here, we could factorize in that little bracket. You see at the top, there's a sin squared x, which is common. Factorizing is usually very helpful. So we can take out sin squared x, and then you'd be left with 1 minus cos squared x over cos squared x times by 1 over sin squared x, and then that's all over sin squared x over cos squared x. Now you can see that these two can cancel because they are diagonally across each other. Well, this is quite a long question. And so this would end up being, so what we have now is 1 minus cos squared x over cos squared x. And then at the bottom, we still have sin squared x over cos squared x. Now we should know that there's this identity in grade 11 maths that says sin squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. Now you can use this in different ways. What some students do is they realize that they could get that by moving this cos squared x over. But something that I've started doing with my students, and it works quite nicely, is just replace the 1 with sin squared x plus cos squared x. It works. Check this out. Sin squared x plus cos squared x minus the cos squared x that's already there over cos squared x and then over sin squared x over cos squared x. Okay, so cos squared x is cancel. And so what we get left with is sin squared x over cos squared x over sin squared x over cos squared x. And so this whole part cancels and our final answer is 1.